Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to create data fields to extract the data from our documents on Chronoscan. The first thing is to really understand exactly what data fields are. Let's say we have this document here, and we want to extract bits of data from it, so we can then export that extracted data to any format and destination we desire. Like, uh, let's say that's an invoice, we want to export the data we captured from the document to our company's database. We can see here we have three areas marked in red and those are the three bits of information we are going to capture from the document. We have requisition number, we have order date, and finally we have the total amount. And that will require three data fields on Chronoscan. And you can see here those are data fields, there are a lot of them here, but we're just going to need three of them. And that those data fields, they hold the data that we captured using a OCR zone, and we will see what an OCR zone is in a little bit. So we can then export that data to any format we like. So let's hop onto Chronoscan. On Chronoscan, the first thing we're going to do is to create a new job. And to create a new job, we have to click on the new batch button up here. And let's run the job wizard here. Let's name it data fields job. There we go. And click next. We don't need IntelliTag, but we need type and OCR detection. So click next. We have single image documents. We click on next here. And now things get interesting. If we were to capture the entire invoice, we would just select the invoice fields and use the line capture to make sure that the invoice total is the same as the net total plus the tax total but we are not going to capture the whole invoice for this tutorial, so we are going to use generic fields. The first thing we notice is there are a lot of fields here. We don't need all of those. To remove them, we click here on the name of the field and click on the Remove Field button. And we do that again for every field. We just can't remove the last field. It will get us this error here. So let's just create the fields we need. We click on the Add Field button and you can see a new data field was created. To edit the name, you just have to click on the name field here, field name here. And let's name it Requisition Number. Number, there we go. And to make sure that Chronoscan have the best possible reading, OCR reading results, and to make sure it we always have the right data captured. Let's change the field type instead of alphanumeric. Let's have it on numeric. If we look at our documents, we are going to see that the requisition number is always a numeric number. It doesn't have any characters, letters, or anything like that. So we can just leave it as numeric. This way, if Chronoscan reads something that's not a number, it will return an error. So we know there, are, there is an error on our documents. And the description, we can leave it blank, but if you need it, you could add a description. But here we don't need because the name itself is self-explanatory. Let's create a new field. You can see data field tree here. We are going to name it order date. And instead of alphanumeric on the field type, we are going to have date. Again, when we set that field to a date, first Chronoscan will read the data and try to make out of it a date compatible to our language, the language we have selected for Chronoscan. And two, if Chronoscan doesn't read a date, it will return an error. So we are making sure two, twice that Chronoscan is getting the right data for us from our documents. And let's create the last field. It will be called total amount. And here, instead of alphanumeric, we're going to have amount. 
So that, that way, ChronoScan will look for a, a currency amount on the field we set for it, for that data field. Let's go up and remove the first field here. Now we can. And those three are the only ones we need. So we just click Next. We can leave the output as it is and click Next. And here we can make sure everything we need is set as we need it. On the Data Fields section, we have the three data fields we created and their types. Requisition number is numeric, order date is date, and total amount is amount. So we are good to go. Let's click Finish and create our first patch. Data Fields Patch 1. We can either click on Create Patch or hit Enter and that will open the batch for us. You can see here the batch is open. And now what I'm going to do to import the documents, they were already scanned, they are files on my, my drive. I will just drag and drop them from Windows Explorer onto ChronoScan and then click Yes. You can see now all of them show up with thumbnails and everything. And that's great. The first thing we gotta do is double click the first document to open it and this will make ChronoScan read the entire document so the OCR engine is going to read every bit of text on the document so we can capture it. In order to set the fields, the data fields, you can see here you have the requisition number, order, order date and total amount to say to ChronoScan where that data is on our documents, we have to create a OCR zone. And if you can see the form view up here, you have to go to the panels button up here, click on the drop down menu and click on set panel configuration to default. That will make the, your view to be exactly like this one you are seeing on the video. To create, to set the OCR zone, first we have to make sure we have OCR zones mode selected and then let's select the blank space here on the requisition number. We click here and you can see now we, you can type on it, actually you can't, but after you set the zone for it, you can. You have to click on it and when you have a cursor here, you can create the zone for requisition number and you can see on the cursor, you have move OCR zone requisition number. So we are on the right one. Let's be generous and create a nice area here. And after a little bit, you can see the data is captured and is on our data field here. In that area, that pink area will be the same for all of our documents. To set the second one, let's first click on the blank space here and you can see the cursor here. Now let's go to where the order date is, it is here, so let's also create a generous area here and re let's release it and you can see again the date was correctly captured and it was also, uh, you can see it's not as it is written here, it is as my system format is set. And to, for the total amount, let's click on the blank area and now the total amount is selected. Let's go down here and you have to click here on the text area, text area. Let's go down here to the total amount and let's be generous again with the area here because the, the documents are not all the same. So you might have uh, slight variations of where the, the total amount is and you can see here it correctly grabs the amount here. And now to make sure all of our documents are read and you can see here not all of our documents are read, we go back to the scan input tab, clicking up here and let's make sure all the panels we need are here and you can see the documents are not they do, not all the documents have their data read. Let's right click on the first document and click on select all. And then we click on process selection. Here, since we are only doing OCR field reading, we have to make sure that read fields is selected. And then we click OK. Now it will take a little bit and ChronoScan will read the data from all the fields that we set.
And that's it guys, I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye!